Hello everybody, in this video, I want to introduce you to Video AI and its powerful Q1 model. It helps you instantly turn text or images into stunning 1080p videos with smooth animations, vibrant visuals and built-in music, all at the click of a button. Whether you're a creator or just curious about AI, Video Q1 is changing the game of content creation. To get started, go on video.com. You can find the link in my description and click try video on the right. Here you can click sign in. And that opens up a place where you can sign in with Google or with email. I usually choose Google. Once logged in, you're going to be greeted with this screen where you can see the different tools that are available. If you look on the left, you'll see the tools using Video's Q1 model. These are the ones I'm going to show you how to use today. You also have the Video Lab where you have multiple templates to use if you don't want to get started on video generation from scratch. You also have a section called AI sound effects, which is currently in beta, which allows you to generate sound effects for the videos that you have generated. In this video, I'm going to focus on the video tools because those are the ones I use the most. To get started on video generation, I always recommend starting with image to video. That way you'll have an image to start with so you know what your final video might look like. Here you have a section where you upload a starting image. And optionally, you can have more images here to continue the scene. Next section is the prompt where you can add some prompts or content that you want to generate on the video based on that image. Next, in the settings, you can set the duration and the resolution of the video it generates. I want mine to be 1080p and I'm going to keep it at four seconds. Remember, the longer the video you want and the higher resolution you want, the longer it's going to take to generate. Movement amplitude is how far or close to the prompt the final video will actually be. I'm going to set it to small. Here, I'm going to upload the image of this bee on a flower. And without any prompts, click create. And there we have our video is ready. If you look closely, there are a lot of intricate details that have been added here by video, which are pretty impressive. Now this video is more on the realistic side and that's what's good about image to video. You can start with a real image of a real person or a character and generate a video of it. If you don't want to do that, you can go and use text to video. So here I can say a bee dancing on a flower in the style of animation. Now, if you're new to prompting and don't know how to generate great prompts, Vidu has provided a user guide where it will teach you how to generate different kinds of prompts using different styles. Or you can go to Gemini and say, give me five elaborate text prompts for this. There we have five different variations of prompts you can use on Vidu directly. I'm going to go with this one called the Pollen Ballet and change my simple prompt to this advanced one. I can also choose a style as general or animation. I'm going to select animation. The duration and resolution here are preset as 5 seconds and 1080p. I'm going to keep my aspect ratio as 16 by 9 and click create. And there we have our video is ready. As you see, there's a lot of things going on here. Now, if you look in the prompt, it says it's a hyper-realistic animation depicting a honeybee performing an intricate, almost choreographed waggle dance atop a vibrant Ducus sunflower. And the tiny pollen sacs on its legs visibly laden with golden dust. The sunflower itself has this soft internal glow. Camera orbits around the bee, revealing intricate patterns of the sunflower's head and the vast, slightly blurred expanse of the sun-wrenched meadow in the background. After looking at the details of that prompt, you can see how much of that is actually covered by Vidu. So we have covered the fuzzy body of the bee, the camera movement, the meadow and the light, and the actual texture of the sunflower. And you see through the wings, the wings are translucent. You can see the background of the sunflower through the wings of the honeybee. That's really good. You see the details of the prompts do matter on how good the quality of the video is. So sometimes people generate videos and they're not that great. It's because their prompt is not detailed enough. And I highly recommend everybody to get some time and understand how video is actually understanding the prompts because every single section is covered in this document right here. Next, I'm going to do another text to video generation, this time with a human face. The prompt I'm starting with is a middle-aged man just won the lottery, show their happy face and emotions. This is a pretty simple prompt. I'm going to make it more elaborate using AI. As in Gemini, I'm going to say, give me five elaborate text prompts for this. I'm going to use this one, which is a close-up of a middle-aged man's face, his eyes initially wide with disbelief, now welling up, not with sorrow, but with an overwhelming, almost painful joy. A single tear quickly followed by another carves through the faint lines etched through his eyes. Looks great. 
I'm going to keep everything the same except the style. I'm making it general this time and click create. And there we have our video is ready. As you see here, initially the man starts with disbelief, which transitions to happiness and tears. And the quality of the actual tears are amazing if you see closely. Now, the closer you go, the higher the quality gets all the way from the skin to the eyebrows to the actual eyes and the tears and the speed of the tear falling from his eye. It's actually not slow. It's actually just as fast as the tear would fall. It's really hard for me to believe this video is generated by AI. All right, the last feature I want to show you is called reference to video, where you can generate video with multiple references or images. Now here you can upload one or more images of some character and add some references. Now, what do I mean by references? Here we have different kinds of effects, such as characters, scenes, which are backgrounds or scenarios, animals or costumes. Here I'm going to upload the image of this robot character and add some references. I'm going to add this one called Cyberpunk. The effect called Matrix FX and the costume of the exosuit. So we have the starting image and all the different references that I wanted here. I'm going to keep my duration as 4 seconds, resolution as 720p, and aspect ratio as 16 by 9. And click Create. Basically, reference to video allows you to feed video AI with information from multiple images or multiple characteristics or references for it to generate the final video. Wow, the final effect came out crazier and more eerie than I thought. I originally planned my robot to have that exosuit, but instead we have the robot in a pretty nice video format with that exosuit coming in from behind as some kind of a headless villain in the city which looks very cyberpunky with this matrix style droplets coming in from the side. It looks like it's a part of some sci-fi scene and I'm pretty happy with the result. And I could have added a lot more details to the scene on what I wanted to happen exactly as a text prompt right here. But if you don't want to do any of the work that I showed here, you can just go to the template section and look through all the pre-provided templates that Vidu has to offer. For example, if I click on this Mecha X template and upload the image of the same robot that I used, I don't have to think about any of the details and just click create. Now, using a template can be good or bad. If you just want a generation done fast, this is really great. But if you want more control, this might not be that great. Because as you see here, you can't really change the prompt around. You can't change the dimension or any other things about the video. The only option you get is to upload an image. But just with one click, you have your video ready without much work. I would like to thank Vidu for sponsoring this video. I hope you got some value from it. I also have a personal invitation code for you to try Vidu so you can get some free credits to get started right away. You can find the details of the code in my description below. Hope you got some value from this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click like and hit subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. To the next one, thank you so much.